this stuff behind me is the plastic that I'm going to make the uh, extractor fan unit out of, at least temporarily. Um, can't afford a stainless steel one, so we're going to try and make one out of this. It's going to be uh, as long as I need, hopefully, <laughs> and uh, it's definitely wide enough or deep enough. Um, so let's see, we're going to cut all the bits down to size first. I don't think I'm going to be able to do much more than that today, but at least it should give us some idea of what's going to happen. I've got all the bits cut, so uh, now I just need to try and tape them together, see what it will look like. So there it is, 10 minutes later or so. I mean, obviously it's uh, not as sturdy as it could be. It's only taped together, it will be properly done. and. Uh, I'm thinking because it's so flimsy, it might need some sort of frame inside, but we'll see. I really need to get this um, glued together in some way um, because of something that I may or may not be trying to do tomorrow. So um, I'm going to try and do that right this second. Never done this, don't know whether it'll work, but I'll give it a go. Using this stuff, which I got from Screwfix. It's for pipes, I think, actually. Um, but we'll give it a go on the joints in here. Now I've got to make a couple of frames to hang the thingy up on the ceiling. Not sure whether that uh, stuff is working, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, so now I've got to make a couple of frames which it will hang from on the ceiling, which meant a little bit of GCSE maths, um, just to work out some angles and lengths and stuff, because it's a sloped roof. So let's see whether I got it right. I saw I've been cracking on a little bit. I did do the brackets, as mentioned. I did get the maths wrong at least once. Um, but they, so they will bring the tractor fan hood, which is apparently drying, hopefully enough to sort of offer it up soon. In the meantime I've cut holes in my cabin so I'll cut one there which lets air in and I need to put a, uh, a shroud on the inside. There's one on the outside so you no know, bugs can get in but I need to put it up on the inside. Same here so we've got the steam outlet. Um, that pipe is just in there so that I can now work out where exactly the fan gets placed because I need to make a some sort of brackety thing for that as well and then uh, put that wire into it, flick that switch and steam will go out. <laughs> That's the idea. James is here. Hey. And we put this oh. up. Look at that. There's a cooker hood thing. I'll get further away. <laughs> you can see it look. Extractor fan, cooker hood. Lovely. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we do have an issue though. I shall show you. I've not done my measurements very well over there. Um, which means that this is split, but uh, it's fine. We'll just sort that back out for now and it'll stay as is for uh, for the time being until I tidy it up. 